I'm John Medved, and uh, I'm a Jerusalemite for 30 years. Um, I've had the privilege of being a, a player in the world of Israeli startups for the past 30 years. I've built several myself, and I've been an investor both as a venture capitalist and as a seed investor in aggregate in more than 100 different Israeli startups. I just uh, finished uh, about five years with a company which I founded called Vringo, which is now publicly traded on the New York Stock Exchange. And I always look for startups that will have a 10x return. And if you look at Israel as a startup, well, we've achieved that 10x, maybe many times 10x. I came here to visit Israel for the first time in 1973 and it blew my mind. Um, I felt all of a sudden some kind of stirring or you know, mojo, I don't know how to describe it, that connected in some place pretty deep inside. This whole country has been a startup, right? In other words, we are, maybe it's, you call it a restart. Why has Israel developed such an extraordinary entrepreneurial cluster? There are special elements in the Israeli culture which are not present elsewhere, such as the role of our army. Uh, the army, which is a people's army, because everybody serves, or at least 75% of the uh, eligible kids serve in the army. The army takes the best and the brightest kids, puts them together in units, teaches them how to work as a team, how to be leaders, how to develop often weapon systems or uh, network systems, and so that we have many kids who come out of the army and then start college and are really ready for entrepreneurial activity. I think that uh, there's a strong correlation between being an immigrant and being an entrepreneur. Uh, immigrants have been, some people have described them as the CEO of their own, you know, startup because they've gone to a new country and they've had to develop a banking relationship and market uh, themselves and, and finance themselves. And people who can do that often have the ability to then set up companies. I think one of the great challenges that we face is somehow to convey an image and a story that's real about Israel. I think there's so much, excuse the word, crap that's out there talk about what Israel really is doing for the world, which is fighting cancer, which is leading the, the world in terms of green technology. Israel is out there in terms of wind and solar and water, okay? So if you want to go back and live in the, you know, the Middle Ages, that's your right. Let's be honest about it. Tell people what they really ought to boycott. Destroy your computers. Throw away your cell phones. Okay, stop using instant messaging. You can't find a major technology world power who isn't excited about all the innovation that's coming out of Israel. Whether it's instant messaging or flash drives or firewalls or antivirus or your Kinect game player or your Microsoft NT or XP or your PlayStation or just a million and one things are starting here. Last year there were 80 mergers and acquisition transactions. 80 Israeli startup companies were bought. Who's buying these companies? The likes of Google, Facebook, Microsoft, Intel, IBM, Broadcom, Cisco, Apple Computer. Israel now is the world's second most important source of innovation. Obviously Silicon Valley is the leader in the world, but Israel is number two. And we're awfully potent and exciting number two. When we approach the 500 level in Europe, is about seven or 800 venture capital startups, Europe has 100 times our population. And, 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 or the fact that there are more Israeli companies traded on NASDAQ than any other country outside of the US, that's an extraordinary piece of data. We're not only you know, thriving as, as, a, as a nation, as, as a society, but we're really contributing to the world in a way far, far beyond our numbers. I invite all the people who are watching this to come here and participate. Either come here and live and join us, or come here and work as an intern, or get involved with Israeli stocks on Wall Street, or find your partnership in Israel. Because there are people here who are working on creative and incredible projects who want to collaborate with you in the rest of the world, and I urge you to seek your partner here in Israel.